Dr. Tony Rehab again. This video, Forward Bends, one of my favorite. This is great for low back. Forward Bends, what is it and why are we doing it? A forward bend is when we stand up straight and we bend forward trying to touch our toes or touch the floor without bending our knees. So it's just a forward bend. Pretty easy, isn't it? The reason we do it is because most people have a hyperlordosis of their low of their low back or what we call a sway back. If you got this, chances are you have too much of a curvature in the low back and what we're doing by this is we're stretching the muscles in the back in the buttocks in the posterior thigh, the back of the thigh, as well as the calves. So all that is being stretched. What happens on most people is a couple things. One is they have very weak abs. If you have weak abdominal muscles, the, the muscles in the front, then you're going to have strong muscles in the back. Most people don't have a problem with their muscles in the back not being strong. They have a problem with them being over strong and weak abdominal muscles. That whole core is so important. This is one of the most important exercises when it comes to low back. And so I'm going to show you what a forward stretch is. This is a passive stretch. In other words, you're not going to be working muscles, you're just stretching. I'm going to show you the opposite of that, working muscles, in another video. Okay, so here you go. Forward bends. I'm going to stand up to show you what I mean. Okay, two things going on. If I have weak abdominal muscles, then my back is strong, causing my pelvis to rock backwards. My pelvis needs to be like this, not like this. If I have it back too far, I have joints in my low back, they're called facet joints. Those joints should have a little space in between them. And as I lean back, they close. As I lean forward, they open. But when I stand straight, there should be a little bit of a space. People with a hyperlordosis or sway back, when they're standing straight, those are touching. That's what's causing pain and inflammation. So you want to stretch that, stretch that. Another thing too that we talked about is most people have a forward head carriage. If my head goes forward, then the shift of my gravity goes forward and most people will compensate that by rolling the pelvis backwards. Some people will roll the pelvis forward. Most people will roll the pelvis backwards if their head is straight. So a forward bend is pretty simple here. Here's what you do. You stand up straight and then you allow your body to bend over. Let the weight of your body from here just bend forward. You're going to just bend down and let all that weight fall down, eventually to the point where you're touching the floor or your toes. You can even touch your hands on the floor if you're able to. And you just hold it there for 30 seconds. That's count to 30 and you're done. That's it. If you do a forward bend and you're only going down just past your knees, that's great. Keep doing it. Don't sweat this. I guarantee you, the more you do this, the further those fingers will go down, down, down. Some people say, I'm amazed, Doc. I could barely reach my knees, and then by the time I did this for a month or two, I was able to touch the floor. Yes, because you're stretching those ligaments. It's so important to do this. If you're experiencing dizziness when you do this, stop doing it. You're going to fall over. Don't do that. Tell me about it first before you do it again. You're going to be doing this multiple times a day. Most people, I tell them to do it about 10 times a day. Why do I do this? Because it takes 30 seconds. It's not a big deal. 30 seconds to do this. Good time to do it is in the shower, right before you go to bed, as soon as you get out of bed, throughout the day. It doesn't take much time, but it's so important. You'll be amazed how much better your back feels as a result of doing forward bends. This will protect the facet joints, this will protect the low back. You're going to feel stretching in your back, in your buttocks, the back of your legs, and even into your calves. That's all normal. You should feel that. Forward bends. Do those. Very important one. God bless you and have a great day.